Beth is so cool. I mean, the the bomb band thing was some of the most fun I've ever had in a movie. They, you know, they taught me how to play the drums. As soon as I got the job, they got me in a studio with a teacher, and I just jammed for hours and hours and hours and hours. And then, you know, we became a real band, Nipple, Nipple Confusion. And um, <laughs> we kept asking for more band time, more studio time before we shot because we were so obsessed. Uh, but it was fun. And, I mean, the thing that I really love about Beth is that, you know, she has invested in a real life. Not, it's the complete opposite of Mavis. The script was, you know, one of the best things I've ever read in all, in all my years. And Jason Reitman is, you know, one of the greatest filmmakers, greatest living filmmakers. And then, you know, you've got Charlize, who I couldn't believe what she was doing on set. It did not seem at all like acting, and yet it seemed totally crazy. <laughs> and I was riveted just by, even by watching her in the hair and makeup trailer, because she was so in it. And um, it was fun. You know, I think what I love about Diablo's script was watching, it, it, she really humanized the character, and she wasn't just this monster bitch. She was actually this really lost woman, and that, who's, in, who's only invested in the material world, in the surface ideas of, of things, and, and is, doesn't understand why she's not happy. She's more confused than anyone else about how she ended up in this place, and she's been tr trying to sustain this life of, of emptiness, and the older she gets, the sadder and, and more empty it gets. And I, I think that's really fascinating. And in, in our culture, the things that we value a lot of times are not the things that bring us any real happiness. And, and I think what Diablo captured that so well. Well, Mavis has decided that she would like my husband and doesn't really care that we're married or have a baby or anything. She considers all of that baggage. Uh, which I think is fascinating. And it's, it's actually one of the funniest movies. I mean, I, I, when I read it, I thought it was funny. And then when I was watching Charlize, and maybe I'm just a really dark person, but I thought it was so funny watching her flail around and, um, and try and take back her, her youth in some way. I mean, there's something really funny about it. That scene at the end, the sort of showdown where she melts down to the baby naming, I was kind of blown away by that and when, I, when I saw it and, and, and watching Charlize in the scene. And, and then also the, the sex scene, the love scene between Charlize and Patton, which I think this movie, you know, there's, it, there's, this, there's a couple different elements going on. And one of the things that I really love about it is this love story with Charlize and Patton, this really unusual connection that they develop that's more real than anything else in her life. And that is just so moving to me to watch them together. That's the thing. It's like there's just no BS with Jason Reitman. <laughs> there is no BS. So it's just all about finding these moments of, of reality and truth and people sort of in the room together listening and breathing. And, you know, with Diablo's script, I think was so amazing is that she didn't demonize the character, in my opinion. She really made Charlize real, and she made my character real. She, my character's not just a nice, sweet wife who's, who's you know, boring, and, or however I see those women being portrayed sometimes. Nice people are synonymous with, with boring people in movies, and D Diablo really found a way to make her into a person that you would want to hang out with, someone that you understand why Patrick is not leaving her for Charlize, which is hard enough to believe, <laughs> but... Beth has personal integrity and, and dignity and, and just really sees Mavis as a, a lost, sad creature. In fact, she's more worried about her, I think, than anyone else in the movie. I mean, Mavis tells her parents, I have an alcohol problem, and they sort of laugh it off. And Beth is the one person that says, you know, why don't you invite her to the baby naming, you know, and, and is concerned about her. Oh, my gosh. Patrick is so sweet and... I mean, I've worked with him so many times now. We've played boyfriend and girlfriend a couple other times, and now it's the, the natural progression of life. We're, we're married in this movie, and he's just so great. And um, and I love, I love his performance because it's uh, it seems like he's not even acting. It's almost like he doesn't know he's in a movie. He's just, 
in the world with with dealing with this Mavis, and you you don't really know if if he's aware of what Mavis is doing or if he's not aware. It's confusing if he's avoidant, or or if he's just sort of not thinking about it, thinking about his kid, thinking about his wife. It's a really interesting performance in that way. I think it's one of his best performances. And certainly for me to get to play opposite him, I mean, he's just such a great actor, really grounded all those scenes. This is so different of a movie than I've ever done. And, you know, just to be in a great movie like this is, it's such a special thing for me, and I'm excited to, to have people see it. I don't think there's anything like it out there, and, and I, I don't think anyone's ever written anything like it. It's, it's just really specific and really special.